Why do you do them? Why do you do? No, why do you do them all? Why do you, what for? What for do you do? You want to, you know, what for? You want to change something. Yeah. You are, you are dissatisfied, you are dissatisfied with yourself first of all. Hmm? No. And yet you do. You, 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 you see the paradox. You are not as contented as you say you are, as satisfied as you are. But something there demands that all is not right there. That's why, you see, you want to bring about a change. And who is responsible for that demand to change? The, that is what I am saying. The culture, the society has placed before you that you should be like that. You ought to be like that. Huh? You understand? So that you have accepted as, see, a model for you was set. You see, you know. There, no, the demand for more. You see, no, there is, no, there is no inner and outer. What I am trying to say is that there is a feeling, there is a demand that there is something more interesting that you can do with yourself, more meaningful, more purposeful than your existence is today. You see, you know, that's, that is the demand, you see. That is why there is this restlessness. You see, you become restless because of this drive in you, which is put in there by the society or culture. That makes you feel that there is something more interesting, more meaningful, more purposeful that your life can be than what it is today. No. Exactly. The naturalness is destroyed by that demand which is put in there by the culture. Hmm? So then you see your life looks meaningless to you. If that is all that you can do, you have tried, you see, to fill in that boredom with everything possible. Now you have all these new gimmicks. You see, yoga, meditation, and all the psychological. Reading books, religious books, all right, this is this is something you see new added on to the already existing things there, but you have not succeeded in freeing yourself from the boredom. See, that is the demand. See, you are bored. You are bored with your life, with your existence, because it is very repetitive. First of all. Your physical needs are very well taken care of. You see here, in this part of the world at least. So there is no need for you to spend any more energy to survive. See, that part is taken care of. So, when that is taken care of, the natural question that arises is a very simple question. Is that all that is there? Going to the office every morning... Or just being a housewife, doing all the shows of the house, not sleeping, having sex, everything, you see. Is that all? See, it is that demand on your part that is being exploited by, you see, these holy men, you know. Is that all? You see, so those are one of the, the gimmicks that you are trying to fill the boredom there. You see, it's, it's an empty 
it's a bottomless cup, you see. It's not even a bottomless cup, it is a bottomless pit. You see, you can fill that all the time with every conceivable thing that you can imagine or the others can come out, but yet the boredom is a reality, is a fact. Hmm? Sure, otherwise you wouldn't do anything. You are just bored. Simply bored with doing the same thing again and again and again, and you don't see any meaning in this. Why? Why? Huh? Not quite, not quite conscious of the boredom because you are looking for something to free you from what is not there. That's all that I have been emphasizing all the time. The problem is not really the boredom. You are not conscious of the existence of boredom either on your conscious level of your thinking or even on your conscious level of your existence. So that, you see, the attractiveness of those things to free yourself from the non-existing boredom has really created the boredom and those things really cannot, you see, fill this boredom created by that so it goes on and on and on and on. See, the new year and new year and new year techniques, methods, every year we have a new guru coming from India with a new gimmick, the new technique, some new therapy, you know, all kinds of things. Why are you asking me the question about consciousness? I'm not throwing a counter question at you. Yes, you have picked up that word somewhere, you see. You have picked up that somewhere. And so they are talking of expanding consciousness. Huh? The naturalness is something, the naturalness is something, the naturalness of yourself is something that you don't have to know. You just have to let that function in its own way. You understand? So, you are wanting to know that demands some know-how, see, which you want from somebody. See, the, the functioning of the heart is this natural thing, the functioning of all the organs in your body are very natural. They are not for one moment asking themselves the question, how am I functioning? Hmm? The whole living organism has this tremendous intelligence which makes it function in a very natural way. So, you have certain ideas of what that should act. You understand? So you have separated, you see, what you call life from that. What you call life from, what you call life is living, you see, which is in no way related to the functioning of this living organism. So naturally you are asking the question, how to live? How to live is your problem. So you are looking for answers for how to live. You see, it is how to live that has really destroyed the natural way the whole thing is going on. So that is where the culture steps in and this is the way you should act. This is the way you should live. This is the one and the only thing that is good for you and good for the society. So you want to change that, you see. Hmm? Something there. What is it that you want to change there? That's all that I'm asking. <laughs> you will never know, but and yet you will never know. So what is it that you are trying now? See, don't you see the absurdity of what you are doing? All this, is, all this is search, you see, is is uh, like you see. Hmm? So, I always give you, see, my pet simile. We all take it for granted that there is such a thing as a horizon there. Hmm? 
So if you look at that and say that it is a horizon, it sounds very simple to you. But you forget that, you see, the physical limitation, the, the limitation of your physical eye fixes that point there and it calls it horizon. So you are moving in the direction of horizon. The more you move in the direction, the faster you move in the direction with the aid of all these mechanical means like, you know, the concords, the, you know, supersonic planes, the more it is moving farther and farther and farther. So instead of finding out what is it that is limiting your physical capacity to see, hmm? instead of bothering your head, breaking your head over that, of capturing that, then you will be able to understand the limitations of this and not bother about them. You see, that doesn't exist at all. See, what you are stuck with is only the limitation. So I give also another example, you see, of trying to overtake your shadow. I don't know, you see, as children we always played this game, you know, trying to overtake all the other boys running with you, everybody trying to overtake his own shadow. It never occurred to us then, see, that it is this body that is casting this shadow there and you are wanting to overtake the shadow is an absurd game that you are playing. You can run for miles and miles and miles. Uh, you know the story of Alice in Wonderland. The Red Queen, she has to run faster and faster and faster in order to keep still where she is. You see, that's exactly what you are all doing. Running faster and faster and faster, but you are not moving anywhere. You see, all that you are doing to find exactly where you are. This is not moving at all. So that gives you the feeling that you are working something, you are doing something to achieve your goal. Not knowing very well that what you are doing is totally unrelated to the natural functioning of this body and you want to act in a natural way. You are not acting in a natural way because the ideal you have placed before you, which you have accepted but placed before you by the culture, has falsified the natural actions here. You are frightened of acting in a very natural way because you have been told that that is the way you should act, you ought to act. Hmm? So, physical perfection is one of the means. I am not saying anything against yoga. Please don't get me wrong. I am not saying anything against meditation. Do meditation, do yoga. There are certain palliatives. You see, if you want to keep your body supple, do it, you see. So a supple body is better than a stiff body. One day is a body. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> so you see, instead of creating tensions all the time, you see, meditation gives you relief from your tensions. Do it. But you see, I am suggesting, don't forget it is meditation that is creating all the tensions. You first create a problem and then you try to solve the problem. It's all right. But thank God you are not doing it very seriously. <laughs> you know, that's the only hope you have. If you very seriously meditate, you are in trouble. You see, you will go crazy. Or if you try to practice this awareness all the time, or see, in, on your, in your conscious as well as unconscious uh, levels, you will be really in trouble. You will end up in the loony bin there, see, singing loony tunes and very melodies. <laughs> Now you, now you can learn the new songs, <laughs> new songs from India and uh, Hare Krishna songs and sing and enjoy. That's all right. But don't do that because it's something like trying to walk, watching every step you take. If you are in trouble. You will not be able to walk at all. Don't do that. It's a mechanical thing. See, the things that are there are running very smoothly and mechanically. You don't have to do a thing. The more you try to do it, the more resistance you are creating. Hmm? So the boredom is really the problem for you. You see, the non-existing boredom has been created by the demand how to free yourself from boredom. So since that is not in any way helping you to 
we were born them, but making it more and more and more difficult to be free from this, you have to shop around. So you have to search for all and every kinds of gimmicks to free yourself from that non-existing bottom. So it is that that is keeping this a going thing forever and ever. So I am not giving you another gimmick or suggesting anything. I just want you to look at this, what you are doing. Not to free you from something and take you away from that, you see, because I have something new, new product to sell. Not at all, I have no new products you know, <laughs> to sell. <laughs> Nor am I interested in selling anything. And so we happen to be here, all of us, for some reason or other. I don't know why we are here. Discuss. Uh, there's nothing to discuss here. The discussion has no meaning because the object or the purpose of a discussion or a conversation is to understand something. So that is not the means to understand it. Ultimately, what I am emphasizing all the time is, look here, there is nothing to understand. When that is understood, that there is nothing to understand. All these conversations become meaningless. So you get up and walk away once and for all. So I say, nice meeting you and <laughs> That's all that I'm saying all the time, you see. You know, if you <laughs> nice meeting you. Huh? No, that's exactly what I'm saying all the time. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Goodbye. God be with you and God, stay with God. That's the Spanish. Stay with God. You are gods, you are gods. Stay with them, you see. Don't disturb yourself unnecessarily. Live in hope and die in hope. <laughs> and hope that you will be born again <laughs> if you accept the theories of reincarnation and all. One is bad enough. Why do you want to be born again? The same thing. So you might as well handle this problem once and for all now and begin to live what little is left for us. Not bother about you see, the world, the peace of the world. If the question of how to be happy is dropped. Then, then you begin to leave, you see, not bothering about happiness at all. See, that doesn't exist, happiness doesn't exist. The more you want it, the more you search for it, the more unhappy you remain. They go together, you see. 